So as the snow picks up in Chicago and along the Great Lakes, we could possibly see thunder snow, okay? Let's take a quick moment and talk about what that is and why it happens. Well, thunder snow, it occurs when a cold, dry air mass sits over a warmer, moist layer of air, which then creates enough instability and upward motion, convection, for electrical charges to build up within the storm clouds. So in order to get some of that thunder snow, you really need a nice depth of cold air. Now, in this, in this example, not quite enough. So when you don't have that much of a uh, the depth of cold air, you have weaker updrafts, no charge separation, less snow. Now, when we have a lot more colder air and it's way more in the atmosphere, we get a, a lot bigger and higher cloud tops. So stronger updrafts, lightning is going to be possible with these and we get a whole lot more snow. Now, on top of this, we need, of course, temperature contrast to happen, convection like we just talked about, and some sort of lift lifting mechanism to force the warm, moist air upwards into the colder atmosphere. Now, this is where lake effect snow comes in. Cold air moving over relatively warmer water, which is rapidly heated and forced to rise, creating very tall storm clouds. So we do have all the ingredients that we need to see that lake effect snow that's going to be happening later on tonight and overnight into tomorrow. We have the warm water. I mean, looking into Lake Michigan, temperature is forecasted to be 54 degrees. That's over three degrees warmer than it normally is this time of year. On top of this, we need that cold air that's rolling on through. Check. Storm energy. Also check, we have plenty of storm energy available for these systems, especially moving again overnight tonight and into our Monday. So folks along the Great Lakes need to be on high alert for this. We also need fetch. Now, what is fetch? Well, it's the distance wind travels over a body of water. A longer fetch allows the wind to pick up more moisture and warmth from the water, leading to the potential for heavier snowfall when it comes ashore. So that's what we talk about. That's what we mean when we talk about a large or a long fetch coming into play. And let me tell you, we have a big fetch coming on in that's going to be impacting parts of Chicago as well as over into Michigan City, parts of Indiana, and of course, up towards Michigan. I was talking about that available storm energy. There's a ton. I mean, moving into the afternoon, it really picks up. So definitely going to be a chance to see some of that thunder snow. And that just also indicates, you guys, that if we see thunder snow, that lightning with these snow mm -hmm. systems, as well as that thunder, it just is an indication that we have really strong systems. Have you ever experienced that? I have not. It is wild. Is it the craziest thing? Oh my gosh, you see that all the time, especially on the Great Lakes, and especially with lake effect snow. Uh -huh. And it just kind of goes to show, when you start seeing lightning, thunder in there, it means that it is powerful.